Right, in the previous class, we revised this OSI layer. We saw that every device on Earth that wants to interact over the network has got a common language to speak, has got a common policy in preparing the data so that devices can openly talk without any confusion. That common language, the common standard, that common preparation method is what open system interconnect and the preparation is of seven steps or seven layers starting from physical layer to application layer as per the standard this cannot be shuffled because standard should be same as prescribed so whenever someone asks you what is layer 4 it's going to be always transfer layer when someone says what is layer 6 it's going to be always the presentation layer Today we are going to focus on IP addressing. IP is the internet protocol. It's a protocol that works in layer 3. And you remember layer 3 is called as network layer in which we have routers firewalls sometime a switch which is both layer 2 and layer 3 we call it as multi-layer switch or layer 3 switch falls in this layer so any device that is going to use the IP address of the incoming packet to decide the forwarding path they're all called as layer 3 device or network layer device or IP device switch is not an IP device a layer 2 switch is not an IP device it's not a layer 3 device it is layer 2 data link layer because it uses the MAC address. MAC address is in layer 2. The internet protocol is in layer 3. And this internet protocol uses address in order to identify a device. So we call that address as IP address. So what is an IP address? What is a net mask? What is a gateway? What is DNS? This is what our today's revision is going to be. What is IP address? What is subnet mask? What is gateway? And what is DNS? An IP address is an address of 32-bit size. See, we had various versions, like version 1, 2, and 3, but they all 
didn't get popularity. It's only IPv4 version 4 which we are using now has got the attention, has become a standard. And this is 32 bit size. IPv4 is 32 bit size. And this 32 bit is separated like this, you see? Separated into four groups. And they are converted into decimal format. They are separated by using three dots. Now the reason why we are converting it into decimal, though it's 32 binary bits, binary, is for our convenience. It will be easy for us to handle, understand the address. So when someone says 52, 26, 21, 230, uh, to an extent we can memorize, maybe we can understand, we can we can follow when someone gives the number. But instead of uh, decimal, if someone says uh, the IP address is 10111111101111 Come on, it's too much. If you ask me to repeat, I cannot repeat. Um, so if it is in zero one, we will not be comfortable to follow. If it is decimal like this, 52, 26, 2, and 2, 30, uh, now we understand easily, we can able to recollect if someone says and we can use it proper. So we need decimal because decimal number is what we use in day-to-day -day life. Right, next. I said it is 32 bit number. IPRS is 32 bit. Let me draw here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After 8, there will be a dot. And there is this dot. And then there are 1, 2, 3, 4. I think some other color, this color, no? Mm. 5, 6, 7, 8. There's a dot. There's a dot. This is what 32 bit. So this 32 bit, if it is one big 32 bit, very difficult. That is why they divide the 32 bit into four equal parts. So 32, if you divide by four, you get eight. And if you see, each separation is of eight bit. Eight bits. Eight bits. Right, they are they're separated as eight eight bits. Now this separation is what called as octets. Octa means eight. We got four octets in IPv4 address. Four octets. Using this four octet, which is only 32 bit, 
it is not easy to provide IP address to the entire world. Just 32 bit. Two fish and five loaves of bread. Jesus blessed and gave to thousands. He can do. He's God. We human being, 32 bit. Just 32. How we are going to give to the entire world? So there should be some technique followed to feed the entire world with this 32 bit. Which is what the private and public type. The private public address type. The reason why we have this private and public is what I just explained to you. What is that? With 32 bit, you cannot make the entire world happy if you don't have this private and, private and public scheme of address type. So it is this one which makes the the sharing of 32 bit to the entire world possible. So, if you take uh, a 32 bit IPv IPv4 address, you'll get maximum of like six million, six million address. I don't think it is sufficient for South India, the 6 million. But the 6 million, you're going to now use it for the entire world. It's going to be a miracle. But here, a miracle cannot be made. This is IP address, a worldly thing, man-made thing. So there should be a technique followed. The technique is using some private address that can be repeated and that won't cause conflict. The rest all will be public. Let me repeat. The technique used to solve the problem is there are some set of address which are private and those private addresses can be repeated. Can be repeated with many people. And that won't conflict. Those addresses that can be repeated or, or within an organization, within. See, in, if you're having an organization and me having another organization, me and you can use the same address because they are within our organization. They don't, they are not shown outside. There is no conflict. There is no problem. So I have thousand employees. You have thousand employees. And you got thousand IP address in your organization, which is a private. And I got another thousand, I, I got thousand employees. I also have the same IP address to my employees. Uh, they're not going to conflict. Because they are not going to be shown outside the organization. They are within. Such addresses are called as private address, which are local to the Autonomous system. What is an autonomous system? The network of an organization is an autonomous system because they are under single technical administration.
So, this private address, you see, instead of using 2000 public address, we used private address. In your organization, 1000 employees uses the address which is same as my address, but they don't conflict. The, the communication happens within my organization without any problem, and I did not use any public IP address. Only when I want to talk to public, and when you want to talk to public, you and me need our own public address. So for 1,000 employees, I may need only one address with which we will be communicating to the world. The entire world will know our traffic, our data, our communication from one address, that one public address. So if one public address is given to your organization, even if you have 10,000 employees, you will be communicating to the world. 10,000 employees using just one public address to talk to the internet and to talk to the members of the same office you have your own private and only when you want to talk to internet you use your public IP address. So whenever you speak to the internet, you you must take a new identity. Your packet needs to take a new identity called new IP address called private address, sorry, public address. So we, we remove that private identity and we take public IP address as an identity and we go out to the public internet we call this process as NATing, Network Address Translation, which is later going to come in our syllabus. It's too early now to talk about NATing. So what I'm coming to say is, we got private, we got public, two type of address. So private addresses are within the autonomous system. Within your organization, you can communicate but they are not routable on the internet. If you want to route over the internet, I told you, you need to take another identity. You need to drop your private address and you need to pick up your packets, you need to pick up a public identity so that it can go and talk to the public internet external world and come back. So I said, you know, for example, to understand, even if you have 1,000, 10,000 employees, you need just one public IP address to talk to the entire world. So 10,000 employees, you are using only one. So 9,999 address you saved because you got private IP address. So, within an organization, we use private address to communicate. Outside, when we go, we take our public IP. So, there will be one public IP for one organization, and that will be unique. No one on earth will have the same IP address that you have because address is to be unique. When I was studying in um, fourth standard in Chengalpattu, near that old bus stand, there was one bakery called GK Bakery. From that bakery, the two guys, two boys, called Ram and Lakshman, used to be my classmate. They look same. Ditto. Brothers, twins. 
So if someone takes a book from me or from anyone, only that guy has to come and give you back. Because we don't know whether Raman took it from me or Lakshman took it from me. One guy took it from me. If you go and ask, he will say, I did not take it from you. Because he's the other guy who is similar in appearance. Always confusion. When we have two IP address, same for two customers, two people in the internet. So in the internet, the public addresses are unique, not repeated. Only the private addresses can be repeated because they are within autonomous system. Public addresses are outside the autonomous system. They are exposed to everyone in the public internet. So they need to be unique. This public IP address, our ISP will give us. We cannot simply use any address that you like. The public IP addresses are given by our ISP. Private IP address, we can decide. We, can, we have a set of uh, private IP address and we can decide the private IP address. Now let's talk about some range of private IP address. Address starting from 10 0, 0, 0 to 10.255, 255, 255 is private. Again, 172.16.00 to 172.16.00 to 255.255 is again private. 192.168.00 to 192.168 starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to 255. Dot two fifty five. This is private. So, apart from these range of address, they are called as public. Except this. Except these three range, all the rest are called as public. I have 192.168.200.1. What is this? It's a private address because it is ranging between, you see, 1 here, after 0 comes 1, 2, 3, up to 255, I have, you see, 200. So this is a private range of address. And then I got a 200, 1.1.1. What is this? It is public. Because you see, 200 is not in any of this range. It's public. So public addresses are other than this. All right, more about IPv4 we will see before that. Let's finish this IPv6 also. IP version 5 also came in the middle, and again, there was some flaws, so IPv5 did not gain the popularity, it did not become standard. IPv6 became standard in 2000. Yeah. It's a new standard. The reason for IPv6 is even though IPv4 was very cleverly used with this private and public and all, but still, you know, there is lack of IP address. Because the population has grown bigger. 
not only population, the network users are growing day by day. Now every child has got a cell phone. After this corona, every child has got a new device, either an iPad or a cell phone, which needs an IP address, which was not earlier, before Corona. Not only that, now, vehicles, like planes, trains, automobiles, they're all now tracked with the help of IP address. So the usage of IP address have grown bigger. Now managing with IPv4 is not possible. It's only 4 million IP addresses, yet, not 6 million, 4 million. We get only 4 million public IP address, which is not okay, not sufficient. So they came up with a new standard called IPv6, which is 128 binary bit size. IPv6 is 128 bit size. Whereas IPv4 is 32 bit size. Huge difference. Huge difference. What do you mean by huge difference? 32 and 128. So what? Even a pen cost 140 rupees. Earlier it was 32 rupees. Not not big difference. In money wise it may not be a big difference. Even if you say you know you are a CCIE, no one respects you. Earlier eighth standard people got very good government job. That is India. That's the that's that is India. If they respect then they have to give more salary. So cunningly they won't respect you even if you have big, big certifications, because they don't want to pay you more. But they want our service for free. That's India. Now, IPv6 is very big. I'll show you. See, I told you IPv4 is 32 bit. IPv6 is 128 bit. 128 bit is very big. If you see this number itself, you will understand how big it is. With IPv6, you get these many addresses. You can't, you can't read this. I don't know how to read this number. This I can manage saying 4 million. This no billion, no trillion, it is beyond that. Another way I can prove you is, let us take, instead of 32 and 120, let's take 2 bit. If I have 2 bit, 2 to the power of 0, because it's a binary, you know, 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1. So if I have 2 bits, I get 2 to the power of 1 is 2, plus 2 to the power of 0 is 1. I get 3. And you see, I'm going to just add one more bit to it. Two to the power of zero, two to the power of one, two to the power of two. Two to the power of two is four, means two into two is four. Into two to the power of one is two, sorry, not into plus. Two to the power of one is two, plus two to the power of zero is one. What is the value? I get 7. Look at this. Just adding only one bit, it has doubled the output. It has doubled. If you add one bit, 
Earlier it was three, now it is seven. That's what I was saying here. Your IPv4 is 32 bit. And let's say you got four million public IP address. If you would have made it as 33 bit itself, it would have given you eight million plus maybe nine million. <laughs> Just doubled. They have made IPv6 with 128 bit, very big. Just one bit itself will double. Maybe if you make it as 35, it would have solved your problem. But by keeping a long future in in mind they have they made the ipv6 address to be 128 128 so ipv6 is 128 bit size very big and you see how big it is down there. Three, four, zero, two, eight, two, three, six, six. It's exactly one number. I don't know how to read this. It's very big. Now we saw IPv4 is IPv4 is four octet. IPv4 is 4 octet. IPv6 is 8 exadate. 8 set of 4 hexadecimal. So 8 hexadate. What do I mean by that? IPv6 is 128 bit size that is correct but it is represented in hexadecimal format in hexa if this one bit is on which is equal to f because this bit can be ranging from 0 to f you can go up to f with one bit in binary it is only 0 and 1 in hexadecimal just one bit is 15 that's the maximum one bit of hexa can give 15. If you are starting from 0, it is 16 number, totally 16. So instead of writing 15, we are simply going to write F. To write 15, how, how many bits you need in binary? 1, 2, 3, 4 bits you need in binary. Only then you will get that 15. 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3 is what? 2 into 2 into 2, 8. Plus. 2 to the power of 2 is what? 2 into 2, which is 4. Plus. 2 to the power of 1, which means 2. 2 to the power of 0, which means 1. You get 15. So you need 4 bits in order to write 15. Whereas... You need only one bit in hexadecimal to write the same value called 15. How we have is 15? Hexadecimal, 0, 1, 2, pop, 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 up to 9 is same number like decimal. After 9 comes A. A is 10. B is 11. C is 12. D is 13. 
E is 14, F is 15. That's what I said, 15, F. Yeah. 15. So you need just one word, one bit of hexadecimal to write four bit of binary. To write this four bit of binary, you need just one hexabit. So if you write in hexa, number will be small. See, if uh, the politician starts stealing money in 500 rupees and 1000 rupees, it takes more space. That's why they made 2000 rupees. So it will be easy for them to now dump it instead of uh, taking uh, two suitcases. Now they can carry in one suitcase or maybe half suitcase. That's the idea behind the two thousand rupees. That's how I see because when this money demonetization happened and money, new money came, two thousand was everywhere. Now nowhere through two thousand. Who has dumped it? Where they have dumped it? We have to find it out. Because people are suffering, oh, you have to find it out. It was easy to dump. And it is made as 2001 note. Likewise. When it is binary, it is taking big number to write. So you change it to hexa. Just change it into hexa. Instead of writing four numbers, you will write only one number. Just one number. Which will be equal to four. Why I am saying all this? IPv6. To keep it simple, to write it easily, to manage IPv6 easily to manage IPv6 easily it is written in hexadecimal so if I am going to write this 128 bit in hexa I told you 4 bit of this binary is equal to 1 bit of hexa, which means 4 times smaller, 32 hexa bit, is what IPv6, IPv6 is 32 hexa bit, hexadecimal bits. Now we will understand 8 set of hexadecimal means what? You take 4 hexa, 1, 2, 3, 4, colon, 1, 2, 3, 4, colon. That's it. This is how IPv6 Eight set of four hexadecimal will look like. You are not writing 128 bits here. You, are, you just got 32 bit. You count and see. Four bit in each hexadate. Four, four hexabits. Four multiplied by eight is 32. 32 multiplied by four is 128. Why I am multiplying 32 by four? Because hexa is four times smaller than binary bits because 4 binary bits is equal to 1 hexa we divided 4 times this one to get it 32 bit hexa bit if you want to go back to binary then you need to multiply when you come down it is going to be division when you go up to the big value you need to multiply Anyway, if it is too much complicated, confusing for you, revise this, forward this, revise this, forward this video till you get it. So IPv6 address, let me write down for example, 2000, 0010, 
ए बी सी डी ई एफ जीरो वन देर इज नो नंबर आफ्टर एफ डोंट पुट ई एफ जी एच एंड ऑल देर इज नो जी एच इन एक्स आर एसिमा एफ इज द बिगेस्ट नंबर एंड वन 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 जीरो जीरो वन फाइव E P E nine zero one five two something like that. You know, this is how an I P V six look like. I P V six is eight set of four hexadecimal separated by a colon. See, I have put a colon here. now i am telling you this is a big secret last line ipv4 internally ipv6 externally it is true internally you don't have any problem because we are using private ipv4 address that private ip address we have enough of ip address only the public ip address is a problem we don't have sufficient address because after corona every child has got one phone ipad even before corona automobiles aeroplanes all were tracked using ip address so the usage of computer when i was in MCA two thousand three. Even in uh, colleges, you will see few computers, just few computers, and they never go on internet. There is no internet in the college, only private network. Lotus, Cobol, C plus plus, C, Java. Java was very big on on those days because it was very new. that is what computer were used to do java java program and uh, windows programming and lotus programming for uh, yeah lotus correct so today just one guy in his packet has got two ip address two cell phones two ip address grown very big the network has grown big network users have grown big they all need a public ip address so public ip address instead of using ipv4 address external public we can use ipv6 so you are going to have both ipv4 and ipv6 coexist and slowly slowly internally also we will be migrating to ipv6 this is first step initially we will remain all the users will be using ipv4 like today every one of us we are using ipv4 but you know one thing the core internet is already in ipv6 this is already there external the core internet is still is no more ipv4 it's ipv6 we are all still thinking that we are using ipv4 because we are we are internal but very soon we'll also be migrating to ipv6 even internally we will be moving to ipv6 seamlessly that is what going to happen seamlessly meaning without your knowledge your laptop is going to get an ipv6 address from your service provider instead of ipv4 <laughs> automatically if you are in public so ipv4 it will, it will give you ipv6 if you are in private then you will be asked to stand in a queue to get sorry 2000 rupees no 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 you will be asked to move to ipv6 by your isp 
in one night and we will all do it because we want communication we want bank transaction we want everything to go normal we'll agree to it and this is going to happen so ipv6 is very big ipv4 was okay once upon a time but today we need ipv6 support right so big differences between ipv4 and ipv6 is ipv6 have got only public there is no concept of private in ipv6 you see do you see any word private here whereas in ipv4 we have private and public private and public is a problem private public problem if it is only public no problem for whom for someone if it is public everyone can see all other so less threat to the internet when it is private there is a there is a big threat always because people are hiding and attacking hiding and doing something so this hiding and attacking is not possible when all are in public ipv6 provides enough of address ipv6 have got enough of address too many so there is no need for private every single device in your organization can be public that many ip address you got if you have 10000 employees each employee can be given a public ip address no problem you will still have more ipv6 address you will not run out the entire world can only consume 5% of ipv6 address remaining 95 still technology has not grown big enough to use them that big is ipv6 so there is no need for private all will be in public then you may ask what if i am in public then everyone can see me uh my answer is you are using a public network internet is not our grandfather's network it's a public when you want to use the public network you also need to be public that's the answer they will give you very rudely but good news is we have some encryption techniques though people can see you but they cannot see what you communicate we will be having a very good encryption but again it is going to be an optional if you want you can enable that encryption when you communicate ipv6 supports ipsec encryption inbuilt so you will see robots and human beings with ip address roaming around but you will not see the mission why they are roaming around why they are roaming around what is the mission why they are in this area why the robot is running in my street what is the mission if you try to read you can't read because it's encrypted you will try to read because you will also be with the with an ip address roaming on the earth everyone will be given an ip address you will see a robot coming in front of you you will not know whether he is coming to shoot you or embrace you 
because the messages are going to be encrypted between the computers. We will all be like on computers having IPv6 address, communicating each other. No, I'm not telling story. This is what the world is up to. IPv6 can do these things to this humankind. You know, that's the idea behind this IPv6. In 2002 itself, it has become standard. In the year of 2000, every Christians were saying that it is going to be devoured by Antichrist. Exactly on the 2000 year, this became standard. Uh, so is there any connection? I connect it because I believe in Bible. I don't know others. Every single word is true that is written in Bible. Because I'm seeing, you know, last week I was in Oman. For any special service, you have only one number. You know what? Six, six, six. All special service today in Middle East, you type 666. Only then you will get special services. Or is ordinary service. Bible very clearly talks about the number 666. So, if you are coming to India, you have to take the vaccine certificate. You have to have a uh, air suida self declaration form saying i am vaccinated and you have to show the proof if you are going to middle east there is no need of uh, showing any vaccine certificate which means india has got an agenda behind this vaccine booster vaccine two vaccine not every country is strict with this why india should be strict like this do you think they are trying to protect you if they are trying to protect you, where is the tax money that you gave? Why they have not put roads? Why they are asking you tall? Why you spend, earn, spend, but you never become rich? So there, there are few countries in the world that are very much insisting on this vaccine, even though the corona is disappearing. They are insisting on vaccine. Now, Buzudo, see, I was trying to go to uh, uh, Qatar, in coming days. Now they say you need to put third booster. Only then you are allowed inside our country. So Qatar, India, these people are all joining hands to do something against the mankind. Very clearly seen. When when other countries don't do it, force you, then why you group small groups force us? That's a question I'm just leaving in public in this video. Fine. So behind IPv6, behind vaccine, behind a lot of things, there is big agenda. Not even a dot of God's word can become a lie. With this, we stop. You know, I'll continue this IPv4 story tomorrow. We we are not done with IPv4. We will continue this, and when we reach submitting. One more participant uh, who is your senior in this batch. She will also join from US. All right, most probably before she comes, we'll finish all the revision of those videos that I gave you. But still, keep watching those videos. Bring doubts when you come to the next class. Do you have any question now? You may ask. No, sir. Just I have to revise IPv4 and 6. Okay. Uh, again, yeah. Just a little bit, it's more for me to capture. Yeah, the number conversion, uh, no? Yes, yes. 128, yes, 4 bits, True, yeah. 1 bit. Yes. All right. As you said, I have to, I will have to listen it again and yep. have to try to yeah. capture it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Mrs. Uday? You are comfortable? I can understand. I to, uh, yes, sir. But uh, I had to watch the video again mm. for better understanding, sir. All right. See you tomorrow, same time. Good day. Bye-bye.